Paris Campbell got the big time speed. There he goes. Dixon, he'll high step in for six. When Johnny and Paris first came in, we had a talented room at the time. And we had guys like Mike Thomas, Jalen Marshall, Devin Smith was here. There was a lot of guys that were coming through the room that they had to compete with. And they needed to develop. Paris didn't play receiver in high school. He played running back, so there was a transition there. I would get in, make a couple of mistakes, drop a few balls. I wanted to play, but I just wasn't ready to play. And um, there was still some things I needed to get done. It was frustrating just for me because I've never set out anything. Don't play! The six! Johnny came in and played actually a little bit, but had knee injuries that really kind of set him back. I think he had surgery this freshman year. Never having surgery before, so I didn't really know how that was all going to pan out in the future. Never knew if I was going to ever be fully healthy. Over the next few years, the same thing just seemed to keep happening. Didn't know if I wanted to continue. I didn't love the game no more. I didn't love anything about it. And I had one foot out the door. I really just hated it. When he was putting in all that work for three years and then it comes season time and his knees just wouldn't hold up, that's a hard thing for a kid to go through. When Johnny, you know, he was deciding uh, whether to come back or not, we had multiple phone calls, multiple text messages. I talked to him every day, <laughs> literally every day. I said, bro, like, like without you, like I, like, I won't be able to do it. I knew if I left that I was leaving him in the unit and I really couldn't do it to him because that was my best friend. Talking to him every day, it just made me real emotional about the whole thing. I finally got it in my head. I'm like, you know what, I'm going to come back. You know, I'm going to do it. So I called him. He's like, yeah, bro. He's like, I'm, I'm going to come back. Uh, immediately, he smiled. <laughs> I smiled because, I mean, just the connection we have with each other. He made that decision to, to try again, and he, he tried like he'd never tried before, and I think he realizes that now. Hello? Miss Toya, how you doing? It's Coach Smith from Ohio State. Hey, Zach, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? If I graded his camp, I'd give it an A. Like he, oh, wow, that's he, awesome. The point of calling is I want to let you know that next next Thursday, your boy's getting his first start as a Buckeye. Are you serious? Yep. Oh, oh I got to run out the door. Oh, no, Jesus is real. Oh, no. I don't like Paris. No. <laughs> um, that's my guy, man. He's my brother from another. Uh, you know, I don't think blood would make us any closer. It's just always been a connection there, and it goes way beyond football. Me and him, we've just been through so much together. He's like my right-hand guy. You know, I can always count on him, always rely on him to be there for me no matter what I'm going through. Just coming in together, we stayed in the same dorms. I mean, just seeing him every day, and he's just so passionate about what he does. That's a guy you want to be around no matter what. Shoot first. Shoot first, bro. Jeez. Nice. Oh yeah, we're competitive all the time. No matter what it is, bowling. He got me in bowling. Bowling, it's not even close, you know. Basketball, I win a lot. Basketball, I beat him every time. I'm too strong right now, that's what it is. There we go. Woohoo, <laughs> you're dropping. Better shooter, <laughs> it depends. Cause sometimes I have off days, but sometimes he has on days. And then other way around. He'll probably tell you otherwise, but. We're going to leave it at that. <laughs> I just can't see my life without Paris. I mean, he's going to be my best friend for the rest of my life. <laughs>